next participant is Shilpa. A big round of applause for her. This has been the most common line I heard as a kid. I grew up loving my stage presence with mics and stage performances. The three-year-old kid who first did a fancy dress on the stage today loves Mike to speak about herself and her journey and that's me at Toastmaster in front of you. Hi, I'm Shilpa Munagavalsa. By profession, a product analyst working with Amadeus Software Labs for the last 13 years. By passion, hi, I'm Shilpa Munagavalsa. By profession, in early 2019, I was in conversation with the learning and development head of my organization to know what next can be done in our stream where we both were commonly working. She happened to throw a word called Toastmasters in one of the casual topics. I asked her, what is it? She said, use Google and understand what it means. If I tell, you will not understand it with that clarity. That's when I googled for the word Toastmasters. Interestingly, it is about speaking, about communication. And that's what drew my attention. I waited to apply for the membership while the membership drive was going on. I was eagerly waiting to know whether my membership is accepted or not, as much as a school student would wait for the results. And yes, I saw my name in the list. That day, the email which I received saying that I have been selected to be part of Toastmasters group Amadeus Mic Drop and today there's no looking back. Professionally, my work needs me to communicate with various stakeholders. From the first day of my career, I have been interacting with my customers and other teammates via emails or physically presence in the meetings. Each time I was a speaker or I was writing an email, I always thought, am I communicating right to the audience or not? I never thought if the message that I wanted to reach out to the audience has reached out well and have they accepted it or not. As soon as I joined Toastmasters, I realized the first and primary importance of communication is know your audience. Once I accepted it and I learned how should I know my audience, I started applying it in my everyday life. Today, I send my emails thinking from the audience end, the receiver is able to understand my message or not? Am I giving the right amount of information to convey my message or not? Is the first thought in my head. The same I apply when I speak in physical meetings. Where my audience are around me or maybe on screen. I look into each one's eyes to get that acknowledgement. I look forward to understand have they received my message? And yes, it helped me in improving my listening skills as well. Personal space. I'm surrounded by friends and I have utmost respect for them. With Toastmasters, the diameter of my friend's circle has expanded. The networking that I have built here has helped me not just for learning and exchange of knowledge, but in my personal life, it has given me a lot of importance 
and a lot of learnings for practical life. Not just this, I have learned how do I communicate with different age groups of people, from kids to elders. Today, I'm very mindful about the words I use to my kid. And I'm also applying the same when I speak to my parents. This is the magic of Toastmasters in the personal space. Knowing what you have to speak and how to use your words better is an art. And I am doing my best to learn and apply it in my everyday life. Memorable moments of my journey, too many to list out. Let me share a few of them. 2020, when COVID hit, our lives changed from physical presence to virtual meetings. On one such meeting day, on a Thursday, 12 p.m., I noticed my son standing beside me and trying to observe what are we doing in this meeting. It happened to be a most interesting meeting of all those that I attend in front of him. Immediately after my, my meeting ended, he asked me, can I join this meeting every Thursday, Ma? I couldn't refuse his sweet request. From then onwards, he became a virtual member of the meetings that I held on two Thursdays from 12 to 1.30 p.m. He used to be the active listener there. The listening skills that he has learned from Toastmasters has seeded him to be a budding speaker. Today, he does not have a stage fear to attempt any topic given to talk. That change in him as a six year old to 10 years old today is quite remarkable incident for a mother, a proud moment. A very recent incident which I feel is the most important and memorable for me is Coronation 2022-23. This one event expanded my life's biggest and happiest moments list. I met many friends that I made in last two years over virtual meetings. My network of friends, which I always used to boast upon, came live in front of me. Not just friends and Toastmasters. I met some eminent speakers from the public forum. Mr. Prakash Balwade and Mr. Manoj Vasudevan, who happened to be the most public speaking personalities. They are one of those I met during Coronation 2023. A huge respect for them for being that speaker who motivates the audience. And I was fortunate enough to interact with them where people were looking forward to get that selfie. I was fortunate enough to get those very much uh, looking forward to the solo pic style. That's something I cherish. And this coronation did not just bring a group of friends together, but it had changed the way I looked forward to meet people. Immediately after coronation, I celebrated my birthday and I received the best ever gift I could. My friends from the logistics team gave me the best gift. I did not ever expect that they would wish me in that way. A video was recorded by all of them speaking and wishing me. That video was presented to me as a gift and this took away my heart. After many years, I celebrated my birthday with the happiness, with that tears in my eyes for happiness. That's the best memory I can recollect from my four years journey as 